and these, these people that, that come to this power. And you know, the chief priests and the Jews, that's one of the reasons why they wanted Jesus put to death. It's because Jesus was having so much influence over people and was getting following and getting people to believe and, and, and making so much impact on the people. What was one of their concerns? They worried, they said, well, if, if, uh, you know, if the government, if Caesar finds out about this, then he's going to take away our place. And they were worried about losing their position and their power because even though he was the emperor who's ruling over this entire empire, he still left a lot of people in the local areas to, to govern and run over their, over their little areas. That Yeah, they had to answer to the Roman government, but he still left a lot of people in charge. And these chief priests, and those, they had some authority. They didn't have the final authority, but they had some authority, and they liked their position, and they liked their power, and they didn't want to lose that. So they're willing to do whatever it took, like murder an innocent person, in order to retain their power. And if you think there aren't people out there like that today, then, then you are really naive and really ignorant. People get into power. They love power. They don't want to give it up. And people that like to rule over other people are pretty wicked themselves anyways. Any man that wants to just tell everyone else what to do with their lives and tell, tell you how to live and then, you know, try to hire some thugs to come and, and do stuff to you if you're not doing everything they tell you to do, that's a wicked person. But anyone that wants a reason not to believe, they just provided a reason right there. And it all boils down to faith. It's really what it all boils down to. You either choose to believe the resurrection is true or you choose to believe the lie that spread where it says here in verse 15, so they took the money and did as they were taught and this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. So anyone who just wants a reason to just ignore everything that happened with the resurrection, now they've got it. Oh, well, I mean, they fell asleep. And the disciples took him away just to have this, this event happen. Ignore all the rest of the evidence, ignore all the motivations, ignore everything else, and just cling to the lie that you want to hold to. There's always a lie out there to believe. I mean, the world's full of lies. The hard part is figuring out what's true, but you know what? People who are interested in the truth, God will lead you to the truth. Amen. God will allow you to, to, to hear the truth if you want to know what it is. 